and you, could, you, you, know, you can see that people are typing for things that you might be interested in when no one's looking. C celebrity gossip, nudes, nude, nude pictures, sex, diet pills. You're not gonna post those things on Facebook and say, hey, I'm looking for some diet pills, uh, or I'd love to see some, some nude pictures of uh, Prince Harry. Does anyone, can anyone send them to me? Um, that's not really what you're gonna post on, on Facebook, but it turns out that's what people search for on Google. Um, when you look at Facebook, yeah, um, it, you know, people are still a little confused about how Facebook works and why content spreads on Facebook. People are trying to communicate with their friends and connect with their friends on Facebook. So uh, this is a picture of two basset hounds running. Um, this was not what Larry and Sergey had in mind when they created Google to organize the world's information. This is not important information. However, it matters and spreads on Facebook because they are both LOL and cute. You can see over, over almost 1.2 million views on, their, on the BuzzFeed post to this. Why, why is LOL and cute so important? If you think about it, when you hang out with your friends and you all go out to dinner, everyone tells jokes. Um, the next day, everyone laughs, everyone tells jokes. The next day, you don't remember the specific jokes. What you remember is that you were with your friends and you laughed together and you feel closer to your friends. When you go home for the holidays and the family dog runs up, everyone pets the dog, you feel closer to the dog, but you also feel closer to, to the other people in your family. And in fact, for most families, the moment when everyone's petting the dog is the highlight of the family weekend and it's just all downhill after that. So there's an important purpose for sharing things like cute animals uh, and, and funny content on, on the web and it's a way of connecting with other people in your life. 